the main temperature control for the chocolate tank. Temperature on off switch. This is the temperature control for the quartz heater here. This is the speed control for the wheel. This is the speed control for the belt. This is the speed control for the blower. This is a controller that's not used. And this is the detailer. Single phase, 220 volts for the interrupter. Heater, low pan, power, adjustable for the bottoming area, detailer rod, V belt, bottoming roller. These are your two warming drawers and your temperature controller. This is the device for uh, doing bottom only. You replace the flow pan with this to get bottom only. The other drawer. And your cooling tunnel. This is your in-feed adjustable nose bar. Tunnels three phase, 220 volts. There's your main power supply. That is the temperature control and the start button for the motor. You'll notice that the drive unit at the end, the wiring connects all the way back to the main panel. That is the wiring for the main motor. That plugs it all the way back to the main panel of the tunnel. Here's your drive system. Inside you see the rubber roller, which is now turning. And to change the speed, it's mechanical. Here's your hand wheel to adjust faster or slower. This is your airline for your belt tracker. This connects to the roller inside here. And here's your switch. So when the belt is set to drift in this direction, when it hits the switch, the roller pinches and moves the belt back the other way. If you open up the panel in here you'll see there's a fan and there's a directional arrow. Since the cooling tunnel is three phase, make sure the fan is going in the correct direction. There'll be a photograph sent in an email along with this video.